Do you remember Pearl Harbor? Do you remember December 7th? Very much so. Well, I had moved from the farm to uh, Richmond, Virginia, the in the city. So I was working for a bus company, and uh, I was going from one company to another when I heard the news. And I took off and running back to my station where I was working. <laughs> And what happened to you? Did you get drafted or did you volunteer? No, I, I was drafted. I would never have volunteered. <laughs> Soldiers were something we seldom saw back in my childhood days. I mean, so it was something that I wasn't uh, well acquainted with. Uh, we pronounced combat ready within 10 months. And then we went from there to New York. And they wanted to keep us there, but the colonel, he preferred going to overseas like we did do. And do you remember kind of loading up to go across the channel for the Normandy invasion? Yeah. What was that like? What, what happened? Well, just like anything else, I mean, you had a schedule to meet and that was it. The one strange thing I couldn't understand was we, we were on the, in that area for 90 days, but we wasn't paid until after we hit the beach. I couldn't understand that. <laughs> so when we hit the beach, we had uh, we were do it at 6:30, but we were it was around two o'clock before we were able to land. And the beach was so heavily mined; it was the most heavily mined beach they had ever run into during the World War II fighting. Water they dumped us off the water up to our necks. And uh, we had one guy who was short, so it was short that somebody had to carry had to carry him to the shore. And once we got there, uh, we lost like about 15,000 men. And plus, they're walking across the Germans and Americans on the beach, so heavily mined. But we didn't get a chance to set up until around about two o'clock in the day after the that got off of the beach and was further up in the hill. But while we were walking from the ship to the beach, show, uh, bullets were falling all around us. You could hear them frying in the water. That's how close we were to, to, to the bullets were getting through. I was fortunate enough not to be hit by one. What were you feeling then? I mean, I would just be terrified. I can't imagine. Well, yeah, but you were taught not to be terrified. That's it, you see, that's it. One of the things you had to do is that you, you did what you were supposed to do.